Silvana with another haul video for you guys. Oh, just kidding, not haul. It's actually a NYX blush um, swatch video. So I have 12 of them, two of them already departed, and I also want to do another video of um, how to depart the NYX blushes. So um, that will be my next video. But I have 10 of them here that aren't departed yet, and I just wanted to swatch them for you and to talk a little bit about them. Um, NYX is a brand, it's a drugstore brand that you can get from Ulta or um, they even sell it at <laughs> um, sometimes they have it at Nordstrom Rack and at a really good price but um, these I got online they're the normal like I know they have newer ones now for the spring collection, but um, these I got online and they're five dollars a piece. But um, if you get them online, you can get them for um twenty five dollars off if that's your first time purchasing online. Or sometimes Ulta they have forty percent off coupons that you can use. Um, and sometimes they have buy one get one half off or buy one get one free. So I'm just gonna go one by one and show you show you each of the colors, and I need some swatch space on my arm so I can show you guys the colors. <laughs> but the first one is called Apricot, and here's the color. Sorry, my lighting's super bad. Ooh, no, 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 no. Can you see that? And it's this really beautiful kind of orangey pink and I'll swatch two times each for each of them and there's apricot and it's so beautiful I'm really working on getting a new camera I tried going today but it says that um, Best Buy doesn't carry the camera that I want anymore, so I have to get it online. So I'm working on that. And um, so that one is called Apricot. The other one, the next one, is called Rose Garden. And that is the color for that. This one actually has shimmer, it's not a matte color. But I don't think the shimmer is that bad that you're just going to be like glitter all over your face. And here's the swatch for that. Do you see that? It's very pretty. Maybe I'll try another hand. The next one is called Bittersweet. It's kind of like a brown reddish undertone. And it's more like a bronzing color I think. You can bronze with it or maybe contour. There's that. It's very, very pretty. The next one is Mocha. And this Mocha is kind of weird because I feel like this should have been Mocha. And this, because this is kind of like a reddish pink. But. It's also very pretty and on the skin it just feels very soft and very blendable and that's why I like it and for five dollars it's crazy I mean look at that that looks kind of looks more reddish with a pinkish undertone that one's called mocha still beautiful though the next one is called something pig I'm not even gonna try that because that looks hard to pronounce, but this one is beautiful. It's more like a pinkish. That's very pretty. The next one is called Pinched. Here's the color for that. A lot of these they look similar but on the face it's really not it it's all different and that's why I got all of them because these were my favorite and there's probably like 27 on the website I think but I didn't want to get all 27 because 
it wouldn't fit in my Z palette, first of all. <laughs> Here's that. And this one is pinched. This is kind of similar to the last one, but not on the face, I tell you. This one is a little bit darker. This is kind of like a deep, dark, reddish brown. It's called, I think, Bordeaux. And that's what it looks like. So pretty. And it's a little bit of shimmer, I think you see, but not that much. And that's the color for that. And honestly, you can also use these as eye—I mean, um, eyeshadow because it's very pigmented, so it's really good. This one's called Coral Dream. That's very nice too. It's not as, you know, bright or dark. I think this is like a perfect coralish color, especially on my skin tone. The next one I have is mauve, and that's the color. This is another just perfect everyday color. It's not too bright, it's not dark, it's just perfect. And finally, the last one that has not been depotted is called Spice. There's that. That's pretty too. And the ones that are departed, which are two of my favorites, and I just departed them and I put them in my Sephora Z palette. It's called, this one is gorgeous. It's It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's called Terracotta. And it has like little gold in it, and it's brown. And I usually put this over a blush, actually, because just makes it look so beautiful but look at this it's so gorgeous and it shows up lighter on, on when you use a blush brush so it's not gonna be that intense but it just gives it kind of like a shimmer to whatever blush or bronzer you use um, under it and then the other one is called oh no This one's called Cinnamon. This is a very light, light, light pink. It's almost orange, actually. And I'm running out of place to swatch because I feel like it's all wet. And this one doesn't even swatch very well, but on the skin, it's just beautiful on your face. Can you see that? It's kind of like reddish. It looks like a bruise. Sorry, horrible swatch. Maybe I'll try the other side. No. Is that better? Okay, that's horrible swatch. But this is the color. I honestly wouldn't recommend this one. The color is not as pigmented as it shows on in the pan. So I wouldn't recommend that, but maybe if you wet your brush and use it as a eyeshadow, I think it would work better than the actual brush, the blushes. So those are all, those are all my NYX blushes. And next, I think I'm going to be depotting them, and I can make a video of that too, if you wanted to learn how to depot your brushes. So you can put it in a Z palette, because I think it's just easier to have a palette, I feel like I could use more of it, you know, each day because I feel like they're in their cases sometimes. I don't see them that much and then I don't grab them as much because they're not in a palette. My palettes just kind of sit out here on my um, vanity so I'm able to see each one of them and then I get to rotate them each day. So 
yep that's all I have today um so the next one like I said it'll be a depotting video so I'll see you guys next time if you have any questions please comment down below and I will try to um put the website that you can get these blushes at and um maybe a coupon code there there's always a coupon code um coupon code at alta.com so um I'll link that down below too. I'll also link the colors. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh God. Bye. I just wanted to add that NYX is a very affordable drugstore brand. Um, they have more than just blushes. They have face products, eyeliners, really good eyeliners, mascaras, highlighters. They have... Um, they have a contour and a highlighter palette like this. this is from MAC but it's really similar I heard it's um, really really similar I haven't tried it yet but it looks just like this um, they also have um, a bunch of stuff if you just go to Ulta they have the full collection they don't have Ulta doesn't really have the spring collection yet um, but they have a lot of stuff in the they added a lot of stuff in the new um, spring collection, including more blushes, but the packaging is more sleek. This is kind of thick and, I don't know, a lot of space that doesn't need to be in your drawers. But the other one is really thin and you can travel with it and it's, um, I like it better. But I haven't seen it in my Ulta yet and I found out that they came out with new ones after I ordered these ones. So... Maybe I'll try them next if the colors aren't too similar. But um, I think you should check them out. NYX is a really good brand. They have great primers as well. Um, I can show you a video of all my NYX collection. But I think it's worth the money. It's not very expensive at all. And they're good products. So I think you should give them a try. I'll link um, Ulta.com down below. And as well as NYX Cosmetics. Dot com and um, sometimes in Holt Look, uh, I think I saw them have a NYX sale. You could just download the app. Um, and then, like I said, Nordstrom Rack. So give them a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you. Bye. Sorry, I just had to add that real quick.